In this video, we will discuss concept of OSI architecture. OSI is a very vast topic and so many information will be available in Google. However, for CISA exam, please restrict yourself only to the information provided in this video and CRA. So, what happens when data is moved from sender's computer to receiver's computer? From sender's computer, data passes through each layer, wherein each layer performs their unique functionality. Again, when data is received at receiver's computer, it passes through each layer again. Each la layer will have the unique function which helps the receiver to receive the data as intended by the sender. Now, this is the layer. 1st, 2nd, 3rd, 4th, 5th, 6th, 7th. It is very important to learn and remember sequence of each layer. Various memory technique to remember OSI layers. This first one is my personal favorite simple PD and T SPA. You can read also, please do not tell salespeople anything. Please do not teach stupid people anything. Please do not throw sausage pizza away. Please do not tell secret password anyone. People desperately need to see Pamela Anderson. I presume most of the boys will select the last one. So, you can select any one whichever you find convenient to remember the layers. P stands for physical, D stands for data link and network, T for transport, session, presentation and application layer. PD and T SPA. PD stands for physical. It is concerned with electrical and physical specification, hardware, cable connector and other physical aspect of hardware. So when CISA question is about electrical signal or hardware device, your answer should be physical. D data link it uses mac address bit stream is converted into data packets simultaneously data packet is converted into bit stream so frames that consist of original data and control fields for synchronization error detection and flow control So when CISA question is about MAC address or bit conversion, your answer should be data link. And network. It is concerned with addressing and routing. It understands the IP address. It provides confidentiality, authentication and data integrity services. So when CISA question is about routing or IP address, our answer should be network. T stands for transport. Reliability of data transfer. Also, it ensures sequence in which packets are delivered. They use connection oriented protocols. They also help in congestion control.
so when CISA question is about reliable delivery or connection oriented protocol or delivery in proper sequence or congestion control our answer should be transport Session layer. It helps for connection between two system. Establish, manage, and terminate the connection between the application layers. Like telephone call. So when CISA question is about which layer manages the connection between the application layers so answer should be session layer p stands for presentation it converts data into presentable format provides services such as encryption text compression and reformatting So when CISA question is about format, your answer should be presentation. Layer 7, application. This layer directly communicate with end user. So here basically it provides interface for applicants to communicate. So when CISA question is about end user, our answer should be application layer. Let us recap what we learned till now. So what you will do if CISA question is about user interface? Your answer should be application layer. Routing. Your answer should be network. MAC address. Data link. Delivery of packet. We discuss. Transport layer. Hardware support. So, hardware support, first layer that is physical. Formatting, compression, encryption, presentation. Addresses into packets. Network layer. IP address. Network layer. bit into stream and stream into bit data link connection session layer congestion control transport layer electrical specification physical layer so in CISA exam your question will be framed from this screen only you need not go anywhere else let us discuss some question which of the ISO OSI model layers provide service for how to route packets between the nodes routing services provided by network layer So, which OSI layer tracks the order in which packets are delivered to address the out of sequence message? Transport layer.
programs that communicate directly with the end user. Seventh layer. Controls the connection established between the systems. Session layer manages the connection between the application layers. Layer primary concern with reliability of data transfer. Transport layer Electrical and physical specification very first layer Congestion control Again routing services What kind of protocols does the transport layer provides to ensure reliable communication? Confidentiality, Authentication and Data Integrity Services Thanks for watching. For more such video, please visit datainfosec.com